सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ जियोग्राफी फॉर क्लास एट एंटाइटल्ड रिसोर्स एंड डिवेलपमेंट दिस इज द लेसन वन रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम पेज नंबर वन टू पेज नंबर सिक्स लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन वन resources page number 1 chapter 1 resources mona and raju were helping amma to clean their house look at all these things clothes utensils food grains combs this bottle of honey books each of these has a use said mona that is why they are important said amma these are resources what is a resource was raju's question to amma anything that can be used to satisfy a need is a resource replied amma look around you and observe you will be able to identify many types of resources the water you drink when you are thirsty the electricity you use in your house the rickshaw you used to get home from school the textbook you used to study are all resources your father has prepared a tasty snack for you the fresh vegetables he has used are also a resource water electricity rickshaw vegetable and textbook have something in common they have all been used by you so they have utility utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource how does something become a resource raju now wanted to know amma told the children that things become resources only when they have a value its use or utility gives it a value All resources have some value," said Amma. "Value means worth. Some resources have economic value; some do not. For example, metals may have an economic value; a beautiful landscape may not. But both are important and satisfy human needs. Some resources can become economically valuable with time." Your grandmother's home remedies have no commercial value today but if they are patented and sold by a medical firm tomorrow they could become economically valuable There are two boxes on page number 1 The one with color yellow reads Let's do list out five resources you use in your home and five you use in your classroom The pink one reads glossary patent it means the exclusive right over any idea or invention page number 2 time and technology are two important factors that can change substances into resources both are related to the needs of the people people themselves are the most important resource it is their ideas knowledge inventions and discoveries that lead to the creation of more resources each discovery or invention leads to many others the discovery of fire led to the practice of cooking and other processes while the invention of the wheel ultimately resulted in development of newer modes of transport The technology to create hydroelectricity has turned energy in fast flowing water into an important resource. On the right side of page number 2 there is a picture which shows a mother hugging her daughter. Daughter says, "So, I am a resource too." Then her mother answer, "A very valuable one." types of resources resources are generally classified into natural 
ஹியூமன் மேட் அண்ட் ஹியூமன் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் ரிசோர்சஸ் தட் ஆர் ட்ரான் ஃப்ரம் நேச்சர் அண்ட் யூஸ்ட் வித்வுட் மச் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஆர் கால்ட் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் த ஏர் வி ப்ரீத் த வாட்டர் இன் ஆர் ரிவர்ஸ் அண்ட் லேக்ஸ் த சாயில்ஸ் மினரல்ஸ் ஆர் ஆல் நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் மெனி ஆஃப் தீஸ் ரிசோர்சஸ் ஆர் ஃப்ரீ ஃப்ரம் கிஃப்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் நேச்சர் அண்ட் கேன் பி யூஸ்ட் டெரெக்ட்லி இன் சம் கேசஸ் டூல்ஸ் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி மே பி நீடெட் டு யூஸ் அ நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்ஸ் இன் த பெஸ்ட் பாசிபிள் வே நேச்சுரல் ரிசோர்சஸ் கேன் பி ப்ராட்லி கேட்டகரைஸ்ட் இன் டு ரினியூவபிள் அண்ட் நான் ரினியூவபிள் ரிசோர்சஸ் ரினியூவபிள் ரிசோர்சஸ் ஆர் தோஸ் விச் கெட் ரினியூட் ஆர் ரீப்ளனிஷ்ட் குவிக்லி சம் ஆஃப் தீஸ் ஆர் அன்லிமிடெட் அண்ட் ஆர் not affected by human activities such as solar and wind energy yet careless use of certain renewable resources like water soil and forest can affect their stock water seems to be an unlimited renewable resource but shortage and drying up of natural water resources is a major problem in many parts of the world today non renewable resources are those which have a limited stock once the stocks are exhausted it may take thousands of years to be renewed or replenished since this period is much more than human life spans such resources are considered non renewable coal petroleum and natural gas are some examples There are two boxes on the left side of page number 2. Pink one reads glossary technology. It is the application of latest knowledge and skill in doing or making things. Green one reads activity. Circle those resources from a mass list that are regarded as having no commercial value. Amaz list are cotton cloth iron ore intelligence medicinal plants medical knowledge coal deposits beautiful scenery agricultural land clean environment old folk songs good weather resourcefulness a good singing voice grandmother's home remedies affection from friends and family page number 3 the distribution of natural resources depends upon number of physical factors like terrain climate and altitude the distribution of resources is unequal because these factors differ so much over the earth human made resources sometimes natural substances become resources only when their original form has been changed iron ore was not a resource until people learned to extract iron from it people used natural resources to make buildings bridges roads machinery and vehicles which are known as human made resources technology is also a human made resource so people like us use natural resources to make human made resources said mona nodding in understanding yes said raju human resources people can make the best use of nature to create more resources when they have the knowledge skill and the technology to do so that is why human beings are a special resource people are human resources education and health help in making people a valuable resource improving the quality of people's skill so that they are able to create more resources 
is known as human resource development. There are four boxes on the right side of page number three. The pink one reads glossary, stock of resource. It is the amount of resources available for use. Yellow one reads let's do. Think of a few renewable resources and mention how their stock may get affected by overuse. Another one reads let's do. Make a list of five human-made resources that you can observe around you. Red one reads do you know? Human resource refers to the number, bracket, quantity and ability, mental and physical, of the people. Though there are differing views regarding treatment of humans as a resource, one cannot deny the fact that it is the skills of human that help in transferring the physical material into a valuable resource. At the bottom of page number 3, there is a box which consists. There is a diagram given here on page number 3. In the diagram, there is a lady scientist reading the newspaper and she reads Crops are ruined due to drought. Can I find a solution? In the next part of diagram, she finds the solution and says, That's it. Then, in the next part of diagram, it is shown that the lady scientist talking to the farmers about the problem. She says, It's all thanks to knowledge, education and skill. We could find a solution. In the last part of diagram, it is written, Read and ponder. Humans are independent on each other. Farmers provide food grains, for everyone, scientists suggest various means to combat problems related to agriculture and improve farm production. Page number 4 Conserving Resources Mona had a nightmare. She dreamt that all the water of the earth had dried up and all the trees cut down. There was no shade and nothing to eat or drink. People were suffering and roaming around desperately, looking for food and shade. She told her mother about the dream. Amma, can this really happen? She asked. Yes, Amma replied. If we are not careful, then even renewable resources can become very scarce and the non-renewable ones can definitely get exhausted. What can we do about it? Raju asked. Lots, replied Amma. Using resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is called resource conservation. Balancing the need to use resources and also conserve them for the future is called sustainable development. There are many ways of conserving resources. Each person can contribute by reducing consumption, recycling and reusing things. Ultimately, it makes a difference because all our lives are linked. That evening, the children and their friends made packets and shopping bags out of old newspapers, discarded clothes and baskets from bamboo sticks. We will give a few to every family we know, said Mona. After all, it is for all a very good cause, said Mustafa, to save our resources and to keep our earth alive. I am going to be very careful not to waste paper, said Jessie. Many trees are cut down to make paper, she explained. I will see that electricity is not wasted in my house, shouted Mustafa. Electricity comes from water and coal.
On the top left side of page number 4, there is a diagram given in which a little girl is sleeping on her bed. She is dreaming that all the water on the earth had dried up and all the trees cut down. All the animals have died and she is very scared. There is a pink box on the left side of page number 4 which reads Glossary Sustainable Development Carefully utilizing resources so that besides meeting the requirements of present also takes care of future generations. At the bottom left side of page number 4 there is a diagram. In this diagram there are four children, two boys and two girls. A boy wearing yellow shirt is switching off the light not in use and a girl wearing red t-shirt closing the tab when the bucket is full. Other boy wearing green black striped t-shirt is making and another girl wearing pink t-shirt she is making shopping bags. Page number 5 I will make sure that water is not wasted at home, said Asha. Every drop of water is precious. Together, we can make a difference, chorus the children. These are some of the things Mona, Raju and their friends did. What about you? How are you going to help in conserving resources? The future of our planet and its people is linked with our ability to maintain and preserve the life support system that nature provides. Therefore, it is our duty to ensure that all uses of renewable resources are sustainable. The diversity of life on the earth is conserved. The damage to natural environmental system is minimized. There is a yellow box on the right side of page number 5 which reads Some Principle of Sustainable Development Respect and care for all forms of life Improve the quality of human life Conserve the earth's vitality and diversity Minimize the depletion of natural resources Change personal attitude and practices towards the environment. Enable communities to care for their own environment. There is a big blue box on page number 5 which reads exercises. First, answer the following questions. Question number 1. Why are resources distributed? unequally over the earth. Question number 2. What is resource conservation? Question number 3. Why are human resources important? Question number 4. What is sustainable development? Second, tick the correct answer. Question 1. Which one of the following does not make substance a resource? A. Utility B. Value C. Quantity Question number 2. Which one of the following is a human-made resource? A. Medicines to treat cancer B. Spring water C. Tropical forest Question number 3. Complete the statement. Non-renewable resources are a. Those which have limited stock B. Made by human beings C. Derived from non-living things Third, Activity Rahiman paani rakhiye, bin paani sab soon, paani gaye na ubre, moti manus chhoon. Says Rahim, keep water. As without water, 
there is nothing. Without water, pearl, swan and door cannot exist. These lines were written by the poet Abdur Rahim Khan Khana, one of the nine gems of Akbar's court. What kind of resource is the poet referring to? Write in hundred words, what would happen if this resource disappeared? Page number 6 For fun Number 1 Pretend that you live in the prehistoric times on a high windy plateau. What are the uses you and your friends could put the fast winds to? Can you call the wind a resource? Now imagine that you are living in the same place in the year 2138. Can you put the winds to any use? How? Can you explain why the wind is an important resource now? Number 2. Pick up a stone, a leaf, a paper straw and a twig. Think how you can use these as resources. Hear the examples and get creative. In the first table, there are two columns. The title of first column is You can use a stone and the title of other column is Use slash utility. In the first column, various options are given how we can use the stone and in the second column, there use and utility has been mentioned. For example, you can use a stone to play stapu. Use or utility is toy. You can use a stone as a paperweight. Use or utility is tool. You can use a stone to crush spices. Use or utility is tool. You can use a stone to decorate your garden or room. Use or utility is decoration piece. You can use a stone to open a bottle. Use or utility is tool. You can use a stone in a catapult. Use or utility is weapon. There are two more blank spaces are given here. Write two more uses of stone and how it is used or its utility in this. There is another table given here with question number 2. In this, there are two blank columns given. In the first column, you have to write how you can use a leaf. And in the second column, you have to write its use or utility. The chapter 1 of total 6 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Pragya Jha Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India